Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be going over the three steps to get you to champ. Uh, a lot of you guys are struggling to get into champ. They're all stuck in diamond or plat or even gold. Some even silver or bronze. But guess what? You can all get to champ this season with three easy steps. So we're going to go over those steps. And we also have a giveaway going on in the Discord for 100 Rocket League keys. Make sure you check out the YouTube description below to... Uh, get entered into that and good luck all right guys we're getting started with a diamond two uh diamond three player uh this is two v twos and he's kind of just looking to see what he can do to get to champ i believe so we're gonna get started here he gets a okay kickoff kind of misses boost which is a little bit unfortunate kind of slows him down to get back but um should be okay that pass is a little bit high um he wasn't in terrible position in the net there could have been a little bit better but um they double commit he should be on this. Um, well, obviously, he knows what he did there. That was more of a mechanical state mistake, so I won't be going back over that. He kind of flipped away from the ball instead of, you know, toward the ball or hitting the ball at all. Um, not a big deal. Um, so here, it looks like he's going for a kickoff. You saw his teammate go left, so he should try to lose it left or he just straight up wins it, which is just as good. So uh, he kind of has decent control there. Um, rotating back. Just kind of play back here, yeah. Stealing that boost is fine. Right there was kind of a... Well, you got a good challenge, but let's go back and look at this because you're not always going to be able to get a challenge if the guy puts it away from you. So right here, I wouldn't have flipped into it. I would have caught the ball with my uh, top of my car, or top front right of my car. It would have just bounced like literally right in front of you. Instead, right there, you kind of get out of play with the flip and everything, so you're not actually able to get to this automatically um, and get to this and get to that 50-50, which is pretty risky because this guy right here has a perfect either shot or a double pass or double tap set up, you know, off the backboard. So really, you kind of pass it to him here. Um, you just got kind of lucky that he puts it right at you because, I mean, you can tell he puts it, like, way over to the left side, which is just a bad hit by that guy. So you, you made a good recover, but... Um, I would suggest uh, try to keep control and possession there. So, right here, you're heading back just fine. Way to keep checking up on the ball on the way back. That was good. Uh, he has a good cutoff there. Um, decent speed. I would have jumped later. I want to show you this. A lot of a lot of people make this mistake early on, and you know their games with the Rocket League. So, let's take a look right here. Okay, so right here. You can tell that nobody really has a chance to go for it yet. You might think Snap might have a chance. Uh, maybe that's why you went early. But if you wait a little bit here, um, you're going to get a lot more power. If you just drive up to this spot and then jump, you're going to get like, I can't even explain how much more power. And you have an actual way better shot. Right there, it was just kind of a useless hit to the middle. And this guy takes control of it a little bit. And your teammate makes a nice save. But just being patient right there would be probably your better bet. Um, right here, he hits a two. That's good. Your teammate kind of bumps you. Not a big deal. Um, you still boost. Not bad. Looks like you were looking for a pass, but your teammate's playing it slow. Not a problem. Uh, it's a good bounce off the wall, so you have time to... S well, really, that guy should not have missed that. And you tried to go for a bump there. That was actually a pretty good idea. You just missed You just missed it, so not a big, not a big problem there. Another not... Not really a rotational mistake or gameplay mistake. You just kind of missed the uh, shot. So nothing too crazy. That was a good flick there. Really good flick to get it out of the way. Uh, this is good. Just not a great pass. Um, but right here you could cut in. Yeah, good. Just wait. You did have 10 boost. I'm not really sure if you could have got to that or not. Uh, you could have made an attempt for it and made him panic a little bit though. Which you kind of just did there. You're making a panic. Uh, you are spending a lot of time up with zero boost. And right here, I mean, this is, I have been noticing this a lot. I was kind of waiting to say something to see if you kept doing it, see if it was just like a beginning problem. But right here, you have zero boost, right? So you flip past this boost right on the right. You could have flipped right on it. You drive right by that, that boost right there, that small boost pad. You kind of just ignore it, really. Um, and then you do a little circle you give this 12 boost you accidentally pick that one up basically 
in the end, you're going to notice probably with the next two minutes and 40 seconds, you're going to notice you're not picking up small boost pads. Uh, I mean, they're 12 a piece. It's a really big deal. They spawn a lot faster. Small boost pads are even big, uh, a more big deal in threes, which I'm assuming you play as well. So I, I would make sure you're picking up small boost pads, um, taking the time to do that because they're really not out of your way. They're conveniently placed around the map. Uh, right there. Let's see what you did. I feel like you just kind of gave away possession there. We're going to take a look. So right here, look how far away that guy is. He's in that back left corner. You could easily, like, I don't know if you have the dribbling capabilities, but you are diamond, so I think you have probably a little bit, and you've had some decent flicks. So I feel like you have a little bit. But this hit is to nowhere. Um, you can either take it up the wall on the left and take your time with it, or you can take it to the middle and take your time with it dribbling. Uh, this is neither. So when you put the ball away right there, Leo gets a free clear right to his teammate in the corner, which could be trouble, but the teammate some reason didn't challenge, so you're okay. Um, that's a good pass to the middle. Uh, I wouldn't even went for that. I, I feel like you probably could have guessed you weren't going to be able to get to that in time uh, from where you were at. Let's see. So I see why you're pushing there. But right there, you have absolutely no chance. The ball is going way too far and fast. At best, you're going to smack that thing into the corner. But you're sending two guys with zero boost up into the air at that point. Because I'm sure Herder... Let's check him out. He's got 41 boost. So he, did, he actually did save some boost, which is very rare in Diamond. But uh, really, you have no no chance for this ball. At best, you're, like I said, you're going to send it to the corner. And it's going to bounce out perfectly for him anyway. So you just in twos, you got to be a little bit more aware of going for stupid hits um, and taking the time to make sure your hits and your placements of the ball is actually not just giving away possession. So he kind of just gave away possession there. I thought it was going to be a good pass. Figure figured out that uh, you know passing off the wall while jumping in twos is usually not the best idea as it puts you out of position. And if your teammate, like in your case, go for the ball. Uh, you could get in trouble, and they could have a quick counterattack since you both probably have zero boost like you do now. So right there, you kind of miss, which isn't a big deal. He has that touch, yeah. Um, let's see. So he misses. Hopefully, you're going to pass it to him. Good pass. Uh, he should be able to get a flick here. All right, that was a good play. It just he didn't have a great flick. Not a big deal. So right here, another another time of just not taking your time. It is two, so you're not getting rushed near as fast as you are in threes. So you gotta you gotta recognize this. Recognize right here, you see you see Leo is going heading back right here. Right? So you have sixty nine boost. Why why do this hit? I, I don't see the purpose of doing that hit really. It kinda just puts it out into the middle. And I mean I guess Herder could have been there, but you you gotta recognize to take take your time when you can when you can get it like that. It's very dangerous to have a lot of time like that. And I see that you went for the demo, which is really not that bad of a play. Thinking that Herder might eventually go for that ball, uh, he went really slow there, and he did finally get to it. Um, but it's a good pass and a good shot right there, so that's good. All right, so now we're tied up one to one with 148 left. So far, you're doing pretty good. Um, you just had, you know, boost management problems right now. Um, or boost pickup problems, rather. And you're having... Uh... Ooh. Okay, so that was a good passing play right there. Um, he had a decent pass. Let's go rewatch it for your sake so you can get some credit for this. He passes that middle, which is actually usually a bad idea to jump off the wall in twos to pass at this rank. But he does it again, and this time it pays off because it is directly middle, gives you time, um, and you make a great a great shot. So that's an all-around good play. But like I was saying earlier, your boost uh, pickup is a little off, and then just taking your time with the possession so you're not just passing it and giving your possession away is, a, is another little thing you're doing here. So now you're up 2-1 to one with 136 left. Um, did a little wave dash something there. I think you're just messing around while you wait, so that's fine. Uh, right here, that's not a terrible hit. Your teammate probably, yeah. Your teammate's up for that. It's actually a decent pass. Should be able to finish it. It's a good finish, good passing play. All right, so you're heading back, doing a little half lip of sorts. 
Um, Leo just kind of pushes it to nowhere. He has zero boost. You should be able to challenge that and win it. Yep. Okay, so now steal that boost and head back. Yep. Good attempt at a pass. It looks like it's going to pay off that you missed. Your teammate surprisingly missed that. I think he was kind of rushed because he wasn't in real great position for some reason uh, in the beginning. So, Not a big problem, though. You're up two. Should be fine. Uh, you rotated back post and then went front post when he went up, so that was good. Uh, right here. I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent shot. Uh, you tried to sneak it in. You thought he might leave the front post, so that's fine. Uh, you got to watch out there. You almost bumped your teammate. You had, you had vision of him, but you almost went into him. Um, and your teammate solos that one a little bit by himself. So, four to one, 33 seconds left. You're looking good. Should be over. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You win that kickoff to the left a little bit. Uh, he gets a power clear. Almost a nice double tap from Leo. Uh, you look like you're pushing that, but you stopped. Which is fine. Um, I guess one thing I would suggest here. You started pushing that. I feel like you had you had enough boost to actually get there before him. Or at least get in the way and make it a really hard shot. Which would have been probably the better play. So right here, you can tell you have 64 boost. Make this guy rush his hit. I mean, you played that 100% fine, actually. You know what? This is... The guy had no shot because you did have a guy behind you as well. So I usually would say rush that so he doesn't have time to you know set it up for himself. But right there in this situation, you actually did a fine play. You just kind of missed the touch on the back wall. So not a big deal there. Uh, Herder's doing a little solo thing right now. Uh, you're just chilling around. Let's go back here, though. I feel like there again... So you boosted up for this ball. You thought you might have a chance, but you're always going for this large boost. You're always hoping it spawns. Uh, in reality, you could be picking up small boosts nonstop, but now you're always you're you seem to always be at zero. Is what I'm trying to say. So with zero boost, it's a lot harder to make plays and be fast. Um, so I, you really need to be careful about when you're using your boost sometimes. And that's a decent passing play. You were just pushed up a little bit too far for that pass. But you need to make sure you're aware when you're using your boost, uh, aware of your boost management. And when you're picking up uh, small boosts, you're going to have a lot more because you're you're hovering over large boosts a lot and there's no boost for you to take there. Um, they're about eight second respawns. You can't just head over there every five seconds and look for one. Overall, really good gameplay though. Um, for a diamond two, diamond three, I, I could see you getting the champ if you just focus on your boost management a little bit more. And for sure... Uh, I mean, you had a few mechanical errors for sure, but overall, it's a really good game. Um, you you definitely have the capabilities to get the champ. Tune your mechanics a little bit and focus on your boost boost management control and keeping possession of the ball is probably one of your biggest uh, faults here. So work on those, and I have no doubts that you'll be the champ uh, by the end of the season, man.